Kathy Press again, and I am back with my 24th playlist in my YouTube channel, uh, Geriatric Care One, and we are starting a whole new playlist, and the 24th is Death and Dying. And that is a very uh, sad topic, but we're going to talk about someone who revolutionized it, and we're going to talk about Atul Gawande's Being Mortal. And uh, he had a wonderful line that I'm going to talk about in my series here, and it is our ultimate goal is not a good death, but a good end to life. And, or a good end, to, to good life to the very end. And we're going to talk about how a geriatric care manager or care manager can make that happen. Because Gawande was really a revolutionary. You, I mean, the hospice movement had already started this. However, he was like uh, uh, Nirande, or uh, he was basically the person who was able to use the media to really bring forward this whole idea that uh, death didn't need to be the way it was. And... The key principle here is that clients have to be active participants in their care. And they are up against a lot because uh, what happens in the way that death happens now, or dying, which is a long process, is that um, the way it occurs, the medicalization of it, what's lost in all these questionable and very painful procedures and dying in an institution is your own quality of life and your own choice uh, as a person who's going through that process. So what Gawande was able to bring back in Being Mortal, and I highly recommend the book, is bring back the quality of life and having a good life to the very end. And this is something that geriatric care managers already know because they know quality of life in aging. And so um, you need quality of life tools in the whole process of dying. And they are, I'm just gonna go through some of them, spiritual, obviously, emotional, intellectual, physical, environmental, uh, social, bringing all of those back so that you would not think joy would be associated with dying but joy can be associated with dying because it's not the joy in dying, it's the joy in the moment because death takes a long time and we don't need to really focus on the negative, which is a lot of tests, a lot of pain, and being in an institution, we can focus on making a quality of life that's better. And that's bringing something called patient-centered care. And that's just what I said, that Gawande really uh, brought to fore in The New Yorker and in many, many books, and he's a respected doctor, that patients should uh, be active participants in their care. And uh, the care should be centered around their needs and their wishes, not the family and not the medical way of death. And it doesn't mean that those Factors don't need to be taken into consideration, but patient-centered care contrasts with disease-centered care. And what's disease-centered care? And that's where physicians have all the control, and they make all of their treatment uh, concerns based on data. And that isn't the quality of life that you really need to end life with, uh, not what's happening in medical tests. And so what this whole series is about is bringing quality of dying uh, with joy back to uh, the dying process or the death process. And bring joy into the here and now because death has five stages and we're gonna talk about that. So the here and now needs to be very important. And uh, using those quality of life tools all of which I just talked about, and we will start to discuss that, and this will be the beginning. And always go to my YouTube channel, which you're watching now. I have uh, 24 <laughs> different playlists to look at, and it's kathycrest.com on my website, and check that out, and I'll see you next time.